By subscribing and liking the content, give us a like to continue delivering the most important information. Stay safe by being vigilant. With that out of the way, let's delve into today's news. Silicon Valley executive falls victim to $400,000 cybercrime during home purchase. In a shocking turn of events, Rana Robillard, a seasoned Silicon Valley tech executive, became the target of a sophisticated cyber scam that resulted in the loss of $400,000 while purchasing a home. This incident highlights the vulnerabilities present in electronic real estate transactions and underscores the growing threat of cybercrime and high-value financial activities. The dream home. Robillard had spent a year searching for the perfect home and was thrilled to find a property in the picturesque suburb of Orinda, California, just outside of San Francisco. After beating out three other bidders, she was ready to close the deal on a newly renovated four-bedroom house on nearly half an acre of land. The scam unfolds. In late January, Robillard received an email that appeared to be from her mortgage broker, providing instructions to wire a down payment of $398,359.58 to a J.P. Morgan Chase account. Given the approaching closing date, she promptly followed the instructions and sent the money. However, the following day, she received a duplicate request for the down payment, triggering the realization that she had fallen victim to a scam. Instead of wiring her life savings to the legitimate title company, she had unknowingly sent it to cybercriminals who had intercepted her communications. Immediate response and initial panic. Robillard's immediate reaction was one of panic. She contacted her bank, Charles Schwab, to report the fraud and initiated a desperate bid to recover her funds. Within days, she reached out to multiple entities, including the FBI's cyber branch in San Francisco, the California Attorney General, the Federal Trade Commission, FTC, and the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, CFPB, but initially found no resolution. The recovery efforts. Despite the grim outlook, a breakthrough came after CNBC intervened in early July by contacting the banks involved in Robillard's case. Shortly thereafter, J.P. Morgan Chase wired back $150,000 of the stolen funds that had bounced back from Ally Bank. Later that week, Nearly $250,000 was returned from Citigroup, recovering the full amount of her down payment. Statements from involved parties. A spokesperson from J.P. Morgan expressed regret over the incident, stating, We are sorry to hear that Ms. Robillard was tricked into sending funds from her real estate transaction to an imposter. Although she's not our customer, we were able to recover all of her funds. J.P. Morgan also emphasized the need for consumers to be vigilant about last-minute changes to payment instructions and to verify wire recipients before sending money. Robillard's bank, Schwab, urged customers to remain vigilant in protecting their personal information and stay skeptical when it comes to financial transactions. The broader implications and industry response. Robillard's experience is a stark reminder of the vulnerabilities in the real estate sector which has become a lucrative target for cybercriminals due to the large transaction sizes and the frequent use of wire transfers. According to FBI data, scams involving fake emails and real estate deals have surged, with losses rising from less than $9 million in 2015 to $446.1 million by 2022. Fraudsters are increasingly using sophisticated methods, such as infiltrating the email systems of real estate professionals, and sending fake emails that are nearly indistinguishable from legitimate ones. These attacks are often timed perfectly to exploit the hectic closing phases of real estate transactions. The human impact. While Robillard is relieved to have recovered her funds, the ordeal has left a lasting impact. She has decided to share her story to raise awareness about real estate wire fraud and to advocate for better security practices. Reflecting on the experience, she said, this is not what I thought my public representation would look like, which is that I've lost all this money. If it helps other people, I'm happy to do it, even though it's obviously not my proudest moment. Preventive measures. Robillard acknowledges that she could have been more cautious, such as confirming the wire instructions directly with the title company. She also believes that the real estate industry needs to adopt better practices, including secure portals for document sharing and more rigorous verification processes by banks. Conclusion The incident involving Rana Robillard serves as a critical warning about the dangers of cybercrime in real estate transactions. 
It highlights the need for both consumers and industry professionals to adopt more stringent security measures to protect against increasingly sophisticated scams. As cybercriminals continue to evolve their tactics, awareness, and vigilance are key to preventing such devastating losses. For ongoing updates, monitoring trusted cybersecurity news sources like Digital Guard 114 can provide deeper insights into the evolving landscape of cyber threats and defenses. And now, as we reach the end of our news segment, please remember, for a detailed list of our sources, you can find them in the description of our YouTube video. Thank you to everyone who watched today's program. Remember, by following us, you become part of a reliable source for information and advice. Whether you like the program or not, please press subscribe to join our community. This helps us improve and ensures you are among the first to receive our latest news and programs. Don't forget to hit the like button and share our channel with your friends. Farewell, until we meet again.